Officials are hoping to get a handle on the COVID-19 numbers in the Carolinas before school starts, but so far things are not slowing down. In fact, we are regularly seeing new records set. Vanessa Rufus explains what experts think could happen once students get back in the classroom. As both Carolina governors keep some form of in-person learning on the table, experts are shedding some light on what we need to know about those key metrics and kids. And if we mitigate the community spread, then we mitigate the spread within the schools. But mitigating spread seems to be easier said than done right now. Several key metrics in the Carolinas headed upward. Wednesday, both North Carolina with 1,142 COVID-19 hospitalizations and South Carolina with 1,560 reached new highs. As we watch the concerning trends, Dr. Amina Ahmed with Atrium Health Levine Children's giving insight on how this metric applies to kids re-entering the classroom. We seem to see a hospitalization at the extremes of age. So the very young, the children under a year of age are more likely to be hospitalized and then the older child, the teenager. Meantime, daily case jumps keep increasing on average. In North Carolina, close to 1,800 new infections. South Carolina, with more than 1,800. Health officials say it's evidence of community spread, but how might kids factor into this trend? The transmission from adults to children is probably gonna play a bigger role and from children to adults, do children transmit to each other? Absolutely. And the Carolinas break down demographic data differently, but North Carolina says 11% of its total cases are people under the age of 18. Meantime, South Carolina says 15% of its cases are those under 20. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.